Zamir White, Eddie McIntosh, two running backs deep to receive the kickoff of BT Potter, who usually doesn't allow many returns. This one does reach the end zone, but McIntosh is going to bring it out. Runs through one tackle, fights hard to get out near the 25-yard line. Couple play action passes early. Comes the pressure ball out quickly. Another short completion and a first down catch by Marcus Rosemary Jack Saint. And it's great to see him back. A guy who broke his ankle in the game against Florida last yeah, year. Good. So on second and one, he handed off left side and barreling is James Cook. It'll be running back by committee. We'll see White Cook and Kendall Milton. It might be the most talented of all of them. They just get the snap off. Third and eight. Got good protection. Flips it short. Milton's got work to do, and he's not going to get anywhere near the marker. Specter knocked him down, and it's fourth down. Dogs rush three, drop eight, and they still get pressure and sack him at the three-yard line. Nolan Smith knocking the big quarterback down. But it's time for Nolan Smith to take his pass rushing ability. Cook goes in motion. They swing it to him. A block on the edge, but not good enough. Fighting through that block was Simpson. And Booth over there as well, and it's fourth down. Here comes the pressure again. Boy, I'm going to sack for a second time. They heated things up, but look out for N'Kobe Dean. He's going to have a monster season. 17 is a problem. And he McIntosh goes in motion out of the backfield. Daniels is looking over the middle. And airmail to try to get it again to the tight end Brock Bowers, and a flag comes in. Pass interference, defense number 25. For 30 total yards on third and seven, Daniels has good protection, and once again it's that tight end Brock Bowers is open. He's got three catches. It's a first down on third down. Ball came out. White fell on his own fumble, and they do move the sticks. Levante Bentley made the hit. Not showing pressure. Only rush three. Daniels underneath. Sliding catch short of the first down. Is Burton a field goal in the Peach Bowl? And hooks this one. Hooked it. And a 45-yard drive produces nothing. And we're still scoreless. On third down. They don't bring heavy pressure this time. Shipley makes the catch. Slips a tackle, and the freshman picks up a first down for the Tigers. They're first. Uh -huh. From the pocket, gets it out over the middle. Caught on the slant there is Joseph Ngata, and the Tigers got something going now. Again, the fumbled snap. DJ shows good poise. He's not going to escape. The timing was messed up, but again, the simple things, not so simple so far tonight for either side. Play action on second and short. An easy pitch and catch. Rosemary Stack Saints got the first down. Oh, and there's some soft pockets where they're throwing that football. Third and short. Tempo didn't fool him. Brazil just muscled through a blocker and grabbed McIntosh. And that time, they were ready for the fast pace. Last third down, they didn't bring the heat. Now they bring pressure. BJ gets it out. Again, miscommunication with Ross. They tried to target him a lot, Kirk. Again, hasn't played since 2019. Spires can do it all. Kind of rolls out, kicks it Aussie style, but it's not very good. And it hit a couple of guys over there. Clemson believes they have recovered. Did it touch a Georgia man? Two guys were tangled up at midfield, but it took a bounce. Yeah, I, think it, I think it hit. Definitely hit a Georgia player on the foot. And that is the signal. Clemson football at midfield. First really major mistake so far. Take a closer look. And I think it was Milton, too. Watch his foot right there. He kicks the ball up in the air. Just got the laces of the shoe on the laces of the football. Just barely grazed it if he did. Yeah, it changed direction after it hit his foot. Second and eight. In the play action, D.J. Roll is wanting to throw back to his left. And now fires for a first down. Ross goes down low at the 36. To two. In the pocket. Intercepted. Jumping the route is Christopher Smith. A foot race. Can the quarterback catch him? He cannot pick six, Georgia. Here and I almost feel with all these 
those short throws. I feel that Smith almost baited him. Does a good job of getting his eyes up, anticipating that throw on third down. He's right where the first down marker is, and then he's got the speed to get away from DJ and into the end zone. Through the air. Nice good protection and nice throw in the sideline. And Gata has got it for the second time. You need four. Quick throw into traffic. Tough catch made by Ngata. Pinballing around in there. Somehow held on. Moves it to the 35. Ooh. Ball hawking over there. Was Dan Jackson the safety? Yeah, yeah, I've been very surprised. Tigers. Streak of scoring in the first half, which was the longest in FBS, will be broken. 90 yards offense for Clemson. Here comes late pressure. And again, misfiring. A late flag came in. They were targeting Ross. Dean was closely covering and maybe too closely. Wow. Justin Ross. Defense number 17. The route. Third down. Four-man rush. Gets it out. And again, it's in God. They left him alone there. Quarterback spots him first down in midfield. Third and seven again. We angle sacked again. The Kobe D's been a nightmare tonight. One of them. White patiently picks his way. That's a nice run. Followed some blocks. Moves the six to the 25. Now to be a tight end where he's a better athlete. Third and eight. Tigers bring some pressure. It's picked up and it's intercepted. Specter stepped in front of the receiver. And it's Clemson's defense turn to make a play. You had a feeling, you had a feeling that mistake might be coming. Yeah, and I think JT Daniels got fooled because he thought Specter might stay to the inside on the tight end. He's right here. Tight end works here. He kind of sinks and then he works to the outside. I think JT Daniels is thinking he's going to stay with this tight end, which should open things up out here. Instead, watch what Specter does. Works out. Pressure is picked up, trying to buy time, and now he can't escape. There was good coverage. Eventually, the rush got to him. It's field position. Sacked again. Relentless pass rush. They swarm him. Adam Anderson, his turn to eat. Defense bailed him out. Pick didn't cost him any points. Milton bounces it. Lowers the shoulder. Excuse me, that's... Uh, White making the run and takes his turn at tailback. They fake it to him. Daniels over the middle. Catch made. Jalen Johnson. Third and seven. High snap. Daniels gets the ball out quickly. McIntosh fighting. And it's a first down. That was some tough running from the running back. You just said this, Chris. Care worrying about run. Take it to White. Lob it to the edge, and no chance. Here comes the flag. Mitchell was being grabbed by Sheridan Jones. Daniels looking right. Launches into heavy traffic. Broken up there. A dangerous throw. Brock Bowers was being bracketed that time. And he drives it through. First long drive of the night. 11 plays, 81 yards. Field. Well, they got him third and 14. No protection again. Sack off the edge. Trayvon Walker joining the party. Playing together, being with each other, and they couldn't do it a year ago. This year they can. Daniels rolls out, finds Bowers again, and the young tight end is having a heck of a debut. First down near midfield. Yeah, he snuck. Daniels swarmed and sacked. This time it's the Clemson pass rush getting after the quarterback. Big Miles Murphy like a freight train, two by two. Rangale from the pocket delivers downfield and running free is in Gata. And that's the huge play they needed. They're in Georgia territory. Dixon, the veteran of this running back, Core, waited a long time to get involved tonight. Scoots for another first down. Second and two, out quickly. Gets made on the edge by Ladson. Speedy receiver takes a shot and moves the six again to the 20. This time, plenty of time. Murray Angelale shows the arm strength in an absolute wrestling match. 
Ringo just tackled Ladson in the end zone. Georgia defense all spread out. No pressure. Louis I'm going to lay it first. They bring pressure late. He just chucks it out of the end zone. Excellent, excellent job by the Dogs. to get the Tigers on the board. Does his job. Not what they were looking for. Ten plays, 82 yards. Four for 11 on third down. They try to throw it short and blowing up the play on the edge. Beautifully as Booth. Hey, here. It's a low boot, but it drives Taylor all the way back inside the 25. And he's able to scoot forward for the turn to the 35 as the tempers begin to flare on that far side in the Tigers bench. There, there must have been a, a big hit there, a little hit towards the end. I think the reaction there from the bench, they're trying to get a, a call of a late hit on Taylor. You don't review, call it, you're going to get that. Touching of the puck. SEC. Therefore, running into the kicker, five-yard penalty from the previous spot. It will be fourth down and two yards from the 37-yard line. Tigers peel back. Don't come after Camarda. Try to set up a return. And the fair catch is made by Taylor back at the 25-yard line. Delivers far side. Broken up. And the flag comes in late. Third and two from the pocket. Short pass. And fighting and stretching the ball for a first down there is Braden Galloway. Dropping back. And pressured and dropped again is Uyangale. They get him for a seventh time tonight. Heavy pressure. Ball out. Incomplete. They came flying up from the secondary. All three levels that time. Quarterback had no time. Dogs take over. Yeah, they, they, they brought seen. They brought the two middle linebackers. You're right, Chris. They dialed it up here, here, and here. <laughs> Overmatched the offensive line. Just not enough guys to pick up that pressure. And he's trying to hit the crosser. They clock down at one. They snap it. On the end around, it was caught. And they do move the six. White is the back. He's got it. And he's got a first down. Running physically, banging down to the 25. And the Georgia fans and the Bulldog players can feel it now. But Skowski just missed. White. Forget the strategy. 